Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Pilates class. We're going to make a start now. So let's come up into standing for our warm up. We're going to start feet together, upper body tall. We're taking our breath in. And as you start to breathe out, tucking your chin into chest, you're curving your spine all the way down, and you're stretching those fingertips towards the toes, pushing your chest and towards your knees. And then slowly rolling up, up, and up. Again, breathing in. Once you start to breathe out, chin to chest, begin to curve that spine section by section down. Back towards the toes, legs nice and straight again. And come up, up, and up. One more, breathing in. And as you breathe out, chin to chest, we're coming all the way down, back towards our toes. And back up, up. And up. I want you to grab those hands out together. I want you to reach it up for this guy, keeping your chin tucked in. I want you to lean it over to the right hand side, feeling the stretch on your left side. For three, two, one. Back into center. Reach it up, leaning to the left. For three, two, one. Back into center. Reach it up. Lean into the right for three, two, one, back into center, up and to the left for three, two, and one, back to center, release those arms down. Now you're going to move it to your hamstrings, right foot forward, toes up to the sky, two hands from there, sliding down towards the ankle, keep that right leg straight. The further you go down, the more you're going to feel that hamstring stretch out. You're staying low for four, three, two, one. Come halfway up. And again, back down a little further if the ability is there. For four, three, two, and one. All the way back up. Right leg in. Left leg now out. Toes to ceiling. Two hands sliding towards the ankle. Hold in. For four, three, two, one, halfway up, and again, back down a little further as able. For four, three, two, and one, coming all the way back up. Into your hip rotation now, you're stepping that right leg out, nice wide circles for four, three, two, one, reverse the direction, stepping in for four, three, two, and one, right leg down, left stepping out wide for four, three, two, one, stepping in for four, three, two, and one, back to center. At this point, you're going to come down onto your mat, so pop up and down. From here, once in that seated position, again, we're going to cross our legs, cross our arms in front. If you feel more comfortable, leave your legs out straight. That's completely fine. Upper body tall. You're going to turn that upper body to the right. For three, two, one, in center, and left. For three, two, one, in the center. Let's go to the right, a little further if we can. Three, two, one, in center, and left. For three, two, and one. Back center, arms down. Okay, we're going to work our core for a little bit to begin with here with our C6. For anyone that's not sure, you're going to bend your knees up. There's going to be a space between your feet and your knees. Again, just have a look at me to 
to start with. You're going to place your hands underneath your knees, and you're going to start from the lower part of your spine. You're going to begin to curve that lower back, and we're forming a C-shape with the spine as we go back. The further you go back, the more your arms you want to straighten. And if you're going to, if you have the control, remove your hands. If you want to make it harder, then we're going to pat up and down. Get an easier option, leave the hands underneath the knees and hold. Come on forward if you need to slightly to make it a bit easier. If you find it on your bum, on the pubic bone, what you can do is use this little cushion, grab yourself a cushion and you can pop your bum on the cushion for a little bit of support so it's not too sore. Okay, we're going to make a little start now. Hands underneath those knees, upper body tall, and you're always going to focus on that wall in front. I want you to start with your breath in. On that breath out, engage your pelvic floor up, engage your core if you have to. Start with the lower part of the spine. We're curving as far back as you're able to go. The farther, the harder. Once you're as far as you can go, keep your shoulders relaxed. If the ability is there, remove the hands from underneath the knees. And let's go. We're into that pattern now. Keeping that spine back. Tummy in tight. Pelvic floor squeezing up. Up and down. And steady breath. Again, you don't want to pop those shoulders around that neck when we start to get tired. Keep them down. Nice and quick pattern with the arms. We're doing good. Another couple of seconds. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold the arms. Place them underneath the knees and pull in forward. Good, one done. Breathing in. As you breathe out, think of that pelvic bone and core. Begin to curve back, back, back. We're moving those arms if we can. And away we go again, up and down. Keep that chin tucked in. Short and quick pulses with those arms. You should be feeling the core. If or not, you're going to try to get a little further back in that C-sit. Up and down. Another couple of seconds to go yet. Keep that tummy in tight. Steady breath. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold the arms underneath the knees. Forward pull. Again, breathing in, breathing out. Your pelvic floor and your core are engaged. Begin to curve back, back, back. Remove those hands. Let's pat it out. Short and quick. Let's make it harder. Lift that right foot up off the floor. That's too easy. Stretch that right leg out. Toes curl towards you. These are only add ons. Another couple of seconds. Keep that tummy in tight. Don't let it come loose. Keeping that C shape in that spine. Pelvic floor squeezing up. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Two, one, hold it, leg down, hands underneath the knees, forward pull. Let's go again. Breathing in, breathing out, engaging your pelvic floor, engaging your core, curving as far back into that seasick as you can. Once you're as far as you're able to go, are you able to remove those hands? And let's begin to pat it out. Your pelvic floor and core is still tight. If the ability is there, left foot up off that floor. Now, if we can, straighten that left leg out. Don't let that tummy come loose. Up and down patting. Steady breath. In through that nose. Out through the mouth. We're going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Hold it. Left leg down, hands underneath. Forward pull. We have two more to go here. Take your breath in. 
On that breath out, your pelvic floor and core tight, taking your curving back, back, back. Are you able to remove those hands? Let's go, start to pat. Keeping the ring tight, can you lift that right leg back up? Can you stretch it out, toes towards you while holding that seizing? You can drop it back down to the floor at any point if you need to. Come a little further forward and let's see it if it gets too difficult, if there's an irritation. You're on the home stretch. Let's pick up the speed with those arms. Continue and pat now for the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it there. Right foot down, hands underneath, forward pull. Last one. Nice deep breath in, breathing out, engage in your pelvic floor, engage in your core. Begin to curve back, back, back. And we go a little further back for the last one. Remove those hands if we can. And again, pattern up and down. We're staying tight. Can that left foot come up off the floor? Can we stretch it out, toes towards you? Really good and staying in tight. Again, just a reminder, easiest option, coming back, holding as long as we can with the tummy intact. We're on the home stretch, adding it out now for the last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold it there. Left leg down, hands underneath, and forward pull, stretching out those legs. Arms up, tucking your chin to chest, and you're curving and stretching towards your toes, knees to mat. For three, two, one, and release. Another breath in, breathing out, chin to chest, curve and stretch. For three, two, and one, relax it off. From here, Another couple of sets of these to do. You're going to start with your hands back underneath the knees. You're curving that spine back as far as able. You're going to bring your right hand out in front, left hand on top, and you're going to turn it to the right, back into the middle, and then to the left. Back into middle, hands underneath, and a forward pull. My easier option again is curving as able back, twisting that upper body right. Center, but staying back as far as you can and twisting to the left and center and forward. So again, you can keep the hands underneath the knees for that help if you need to. Let's go. Upper body tall. Remember, always a space between your feet and knees. Looking forward. Starting with your breath in. Breathing out, engaging your pelvic floor and your core tight. Let's begin to curve back, back, back. Right hand out in front, left hand on top, your elbows are wide either side. Let's turn it to the right, core is in, three, two, one. Rotate center, and left, three, two, one. Into center, hands underneath, forward pop. Breathing in. Breathing out, pelvic floor and core. Again, curve it, starting with the lower part of the spine as far back as you're able to go. Right hand out in front, left hand on top. Rotate it right for four, three, two, one. Into center and left for four, three, two, one. Into your center, hands underneath, forward pop. Breathe in, breathing out. Engage your pelvic floor, engage your core. Again, we're curving back, back, back. Shoulders always relax, right hand out in front, left hand on top, turn into the right. For four, three, two, one. In the center, rotate left. For four, three, two, one, into your center, hands underneath, forward pop. Breathing in, 
breathing out, engaging that pelvic floor and core tight. Again, we're curving back, back, back. Right hand out in front, left hand on top, and again to the right. For four, three, two, one, and the center. Rotate left. Four, three, two, one. Back into center, hands underneath, forward pop. Breathing in, breathing out. out. Pelvic floor and core tight, we're curving back, back, back. Right hand out in front, left hand on top, into that rotation, holding for four, three, two, one. Rotate center. And left, work those obliques. Four, three, two, one. Into center, hands underneath, forward pull. Breathing in, breathing out, pelvic floor and core tight. Again, curve it back, back, back. Right hand out in front, left hand on top, rotation, holding four. Three, two, one, center, hand left, four, three, two, one, center, hands under, forward pop. Breathing in, breathing out, your pelvic floor and core tight. Again, begin with that curve of the spine, all the way back for me. Nothing coming loose. Right hand out in front, left hand on top, get as far right as we can for four, three, two, one, and to center, and left, four, three, two, one, back into center, hands underneath, forward pop, there's three to the end, breathe in. Pull that breath out, pelvic floor and core tight. Again, curve it back, back, back. Right hand out in front, left hand on top. Let's go to the right. For four, three, two, one. Center and left. Four, three, two, one. Center. Hands under, forward pull. Breathing in, breathing out. Engaging that pelvic floor and core. Let's go again. Curve it back, back, back. Right hand out in front, left hand on top. Second last one to the right. Four, three, two, one. Into center, hand left. Four, three, Two, one, center, hands under, forward pull. Last one, breathe in, breathe in out, your pelvic floor and core, are going to keep those tight now. Curve it back, back, back. Right hand out in front, left hand on top, and again over to that right for five, four, three, two, one. Into the center and left. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, hands underneath, forward pull. Extend those legs out, arms up, chin to chest, curve and stretch towards your toes, knees down for three, two, one hand release, deep breath in, breathe in out, chin to chest, curve and stretch. Three, two, and one, release it back up. We have one more set to do here and it's into our pulsing. You're going to begin with your hands underneath your knees. You're going to curve back into that seesaw for me. Again, you're going to take that right hand out, left hand if we can, you're going to try to get them across the chest. And again, just a slight pulse forward and back, 
from that C step. We can leave the hands underneath the knees and come forward and back with that extra bit of support if we need to. So let's go. Upper body tall, chin tucked in. We're going to start with your breath in. Breathing out, your pelvic bone cord tight. Let's curve that spine back, back, back. Can you take that right hand across the chest? Can you take that left hand across the chest? And let's go. Pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Tummy in. 3, 2, one, hands underneath, forward paw. Breathing in, on that breath out, your pelvic bone core tight, again, curving back, back, back. Right hand out in front, left hand across, let's pulse it out. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hands underneath, forward pull. Breathing in, breathing out, pelvic bone core tight. Again, we're curving back, back, back. Mouth and loose, right hand across the chest, left hand across, away we go. Pulse in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hands underneath, forward pull. Breathing in, breathing out, your pelvic bone cord tight. Let's go again, curve it back, back, back. Right hand across the chest, left hand across, and away we go again. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, hands under, forward pull. Breathing in, breathing out, your pelvic floor is up, your tummy is tight. Let's go again, curving all the way back as far as we're able to go. Right hand across the chest, left hand across, and away we go. Pulse, remember, you can leave your hands underneath those knees if you need to. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Hands under, forward pull. We're halfway, there's five to go. Breathing in, breathing out. Your pelvic bone core engaged. Let's curve it back, back, back. Right hand across the chest, left hand across, and let's pulse it out again. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, hands under, forward pop. Breathing in, breathing out, pelvic bone core tight. Again, curving that spine all the way back. Right hand across the chest, left hand across, pulsing again for me. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hands under, forward pull. Breathe it in, breathe it out again, pelvic bone core. Let's go section by section, curving that spine all the way back. Hands out, crossing that chest, we're pulsing. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hands under, forward pulse. Stick with me, there's two left. Breathing in, breathing out, your pelvic floor and core. Again, curving as far back into that seat as you can. Shoulders relaxed. Can you get that right hand across? Left hand across, and again, pulsing. Stand as far back as able, not pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Hands under, forward pull. Last one now. Breathing in, breathing out. Pelvic bone core tight. We're curving back, back, 
back. Right hand out in front. Let's go with that left hand across. And last bit of pulsing. Away we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Forward pull. Well done. Stretch those legs out for me. Arms up, chin to chest, curve and stretch towards the toes. For four, three, two, one, and release. And again, breathing in, breathing it out. Chin to chest, curve and stretch it. For four, three, two, and release it all. Well done, everyone, at this point. You're going to come carefully around into your four point kneeling position now. And from there, then dropping your bum to your heels, your chin to your chest, and you're creeping those fingertips all the way up to the top of your mat now. From keeping that chin tucked in, stretching all the way up for five, four, three, two. And one. Okay. From this point, we're moving into our four point kneeling opposite. Get if we're unsure, have a look at me for a second. Hands under shoulders, knees in line, and we're going to center that spine straight. Right hand out in front, left hand, left leg out behind, nice straight spine, always looking at that mat. And down. Okay, ten on one side, ten on the other, and we'll get a break and then we'll do it all over again. Hands are under the shoulders now for me. Knees in line. If we need a bit of support for the wrist, we can roll that mat up for a bit of a cushion. From here, center in that spine, head in arch up. Head up, thumb out. Come back halfway and hold it. Okay, so we all know our right hand or left leg. Let's start with our breath in. On that breath out, again, your pelvic bone, your core tight, right hand forward. Left leg back, toes pointing away, we're nice and straight. For four, three, two, one. Now harder levels, when we come back in, you can tap that right elbow off that left knee, pelvic bone cord tight, and extend. So we don't get a break for those higher levels. For Out we come, for four, three, two, one. Coming in, tap in. And pelvic bone cord tight, extend, keep a steady breath. We hold again for four, three, two, one, all the way in. Remember, you can always drop to mat if you need to. Pelvic bone cord tight, stretching forward and back. For four, three, two, one, hand in, tap as able. Extension, right arm, left leg, holding for four, three, two, one, all the way back in, tap and extend, tummy tight for four, three, two, one, in, tap, pelvic bone core, extension again, holding for four. Three, two, one, in, tap, extend forward and back, tummy tight, four, three, two, one, in, tap, extension, hold, four, three, two, one, in, tap, extend, hold. Four, three, two, one. Last one. In, tap, extension, right arm, left leg. Now we go into a pulse up and down. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down to the mat with that hand and knee. Drop your bum to heels, chin to chest. You're creeping up the top of your mat. Okay, so we're going to our opposite sides. 
higher levels, you're tapping the elbow up the knee, in the lower levels, you can come back down, hand on mat, knee on mat, and then back out into your extension again, taking the break if you need to. Okay, let's do that left hand now and that right leg. So, up we come, hands back underneath the shoulders, knees in line, you're going to start by centering the spine first, tucking that head in, arching up, Head up, bum out, come back halfway, hold it there. Taking your breath in, breathing out, your pelvic bone cord tight. Let's go, left hand forward, right leg back, back. hold four, three, two, one. Coming in, tapping, pelvic bone cord tight, extend again, hold for four, three, two, one, and tap, extend, tummy tight, for four, three, two, one, and tap, extend, core tight, four, three, two, one, and tap, extend, four, three, two, one, then tap, extend and hold for four, three, two, one, halfway, and tap, extend, hold, four, three, two, one, and tap, extend, four, three, two, one, in, tap, pelvic core tightening on the way back out, hold it, four, three, two, one, in, tap, extend, tummy tight, four, three, two, one, last one, in, tap, pelvic core and core extension, let's pulse it out now for ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Down onto that mat, bum to heel, chin to chest, stretch up to the top of that mat, burn it up. Hold in the stretch for five, four, three, two, and one. Taking the pressure off, take a second, roll those wrists out. And shake out those hands. Okay, we're going to start at the very beginning again with that right hand and that left leg. You know these are options. Come back down onto the mat. Higher options or harder options. Elbow to knee and back in that extension again. So let's go. Hands under shoulders, knees in line. First, we need to center that spine. So let's go. Chin in, arching up, and switch. Head up, bum out. You're coming halfway back and you're holding it there. You're taking your breath in, breathing out, engaging your pelvic bone and core. Right hand forward, left leg back for four, three, two, one. All the way in, tap and extend. Hold the core for four, three, two, one. In, elbow off the knee, tap, extend back out, stretch and forward and back for four, three, two, one, all the way in, tap, extending, pelvic core and core, hold in for four, three, two, one, coming in, tap, extension, hold, steady breathing, four, three, Two, one, in, tap, extend, tummy tight, four, three, two, one, in, tap, extend, core tight, hold it, four, three, two, one, three to go, in, tap, extend, hold for four, three, Two, one, in, 
ta, good stand, Tommy and Tay. Four, three, two, one, in, top, extend, a last one. We're pulsing again for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Darn, we come from the heel, chin to chest, stretching, forming high forward for five. Four, three, two, and one. Roll those wrists out. Shake out the hands. Okay. One last time on that upper opposite side. So let's go. Hands on the shoulders. Knee in line. Extend your that spine. Head and arch up. Head up from up. Come halfway back, hold it there. You're going to take your breath in. On that breath out, your pelvic floor and your core tight. Left forward, right back. Hold in for four, three, two, one. In, tap, and extend. We're tight. Four, three, two, one. In, tap, still looking at that mat between those hands. Hold it. Four, three, two, one. In, tap, hand extend. Hold for four. Three, two, one. In, tap, extend, tummy tight. Four, three, two, one, and halfway, tap, extend, pull for four, three, two, one, in, tap, extend that left hand, right leg, hold four, three, two, one, in, tap, three to go, extension, hold four, three, two, one, in, tap, extend, four, three, two, one, in, tap, extend, last one, way we go for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, darling, we come. Well done. Drop your bum to heels, your chin to chest. You're creeping those fingertips all the way up to the top of your mat for a minute. For five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back on those heels, roll out those wrists. Three, two, one. Shake out those hands. Okay. What we're going to do to finish the class with our last minute is a nice low plank, a half plank, or a full low plank. So let's come. Down we go. Again, if we're unsure, full plank, up on those forearms, space between the hands, and we're in a nice straight line. Half plank, leave those knees down, cross the feet, and lift the feet up. So let's go elbows under shoulders. Keep the hands in line with those elbows. Chin tucked in, curling your toes, deep breath in. On that breath out, your pelvic bone and core tight, lift, lift it up, and we're holding up. All we're going to do is hold to the end. Tummy's in, pelvic bone's up, and we steady hold. We don't be looking forward, we're looking at the mat. Keep pushing through, don't stop. The half plank there if you need it. Keep it going, 25 to the end now. Hold it. Tommy, pelvic floor. Keep pushing through. Point down on. Last 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Five, four, three, two, 
and one. Well done, drop us back. Bum coming to those heels again. Chin into chest, creep all the way up to the top of your back. Taking those fingertips over to the top right hand side of your mat now. Come back into the center. And over to the top left hand side of the mat. And then come back into center. Stretching it out now, up into four point. You know the cat camel, head in, arch up. And switch, head up, one arc. And switch, head in, arch up. And switch, head up, one arc. Come to center. We're now going to make our way into our standing position. Curve your toes. Walk into crouch. Straighten your legs and slowly curve that spine all the way back up for me. Your feet now coming together, hands together. I want you to reach it up, chin tucked in, and again lean into the right. Three, two, one. Back to center, reach up, lean and left. Three, two, one. Back to center, reach up, again to the right. Three, two, one. Back to center, reach up and left. Three, two, one, come back to center. One more time, I want you to reach up this time. I want you to arch all the way back. Now take your hands and drop them all the way down towards your toes. Take another breath in. Breathing out, throwing those arms up. Arching back, chin in. And down towards your toes. Breathing in. Breathing out, throwing those arms up. And we're arching back. And relax those arms down now. Come here into that nice wide step out with that right leg for four, three, two, one, and stepping in for four, three, two, and one. Right leg down, left step out, four, three, two, one, and step it in for four, three, two, and one. Back into center for me now, wide step those feet, two hands to your right leg, sliding all the way down towards your ankle. Down for five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up. Your two hands move into that left leg and we're sliding all the way down towards the ankle. For five, four, three, two, one. All the way back up. Stepping your feet together now, taking a nice deep breath in. Breathing out, chin to chest, head down, shoulders, lower back. I want you to stretch towards the toes, chin in. Now slowly curve and that's fine. Up, up, and up. Breathing in, breathing out again, chin to chest. You're gently curving that spine down. This time as you're going down, you're going to push your chest in towards your knee. Release, rolling up. Up and up. Last one. Breathing in, breathing out. Chin to chest, curve it all the way down. This time, as you come down, you're completely relaxing your whole body for me now. And finally, to finish nice and slow, let's curve it up, up. And up. Oh.
well done everyone that is the end of another class i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you all again next week bye